Well, hello there again. This is Bob Chu from Stewart Boatworks with another latest launch. And on this boat, all I can say is wow. Um, maybe you've seen it on Instagram, our Facebook page, and so forth. This is the most elaborate, unique boat we've ever built. Um, this is a 27 Stewart powered by twin 300 Yamahas. It is a low profile second station or low profile tower boat where the owner will stand on top of the console. Uh, it is a pure fishing machine that is elaborate in its finish. Uh, this is the first boat we've ever built that is completely painted, post painted, after we built the boat. It's also the first metallic finish boat we've ever had. Um, so it is very, very unique. A uh, lot of nice features we've done on other boats. A uh, faux teak tow rail, for example. Um, we've done this on a couple other boats and have a few more boats to build already with this same look. Um, as we get aft, you'll see that the helm pod is the same way. Uh, this customer chose a flush floor all the way forward with a frigid rigid coffin box like you've seen before from some of our boats. But a couple of the unique features are that we did put uh, rod racks, rocket launchers down each side to hold four rods. Um, you can, if you remove these rods on this side, the frigid rigid will tilt all the way up without any hindrance. Um, if you leave the rods in, it'll still tilt up high enough that you can get some fish in to the lower fish box. I'm going to go ahead and raise it now, which I've done before, but you can get a look at it. So that takes you down into the fish box, which you've, you've seen any of our videos before. I've actually gotten down in there and laid in there and you could have easily put another person my size or maybe another person, all three of us in there and close this. So this is like about a five foot, six fish box uh, cubic uh, inches. I don't recall right at this time, but it's massive, heavily insulated, has a diaphragm pump that drains it overboard. Uh, the other cool feature on this particular one is that he did do a sea deck ruler across the top. A um, lot of rod holders, 14 rod holders. They all have individual backing plates with eyes in them so that you can lock in your rod, strap in your rod. So wouldn't accidentally fall overboard. Every rod holder has that type of backing plate. Forward of the console, he opted for this to be a secondary live well. Paint it to match the rest of the boat. Now moving aft, uh, again, this is a hardcore fish boat. He opted for six drawer tackle center, 3700 series Plano trays, the big deep trays for offshore tackle. This is a six drawer, we do offer a four drawer, but he won it max, as you can understand. Uh, then moving on to the helm. Um, two 16 inch Garmin 8616s, uh, Garmin VHF, handheld VHF with an external speaker, which is crystal clear. Yamaha seven inch gauge below. Start, stop, and, end, and selectors for the station. Um, Optimus, this boat has the Optimus, excuse me, um, electric power steering, including joystick application. Awesome dipped helm pod, teak helm pod that we make here ourselves. It is fiberglass, faux teak look. Um, custom wheel from Italy, awesome sets off the pod. The helm is of course on the back side like old school you know, custom sport fish boats. The sea zone system that you're used to seeing on all of our boats. When you drop down, and I forgot to point this out earlier, but we use all hidden fasteners. If you drop down, you can see the rigging inside. Very neat, very professional. Um, this is what we offer. We're semi-custom boat builder that does custom boat work. This, of course, 
slides out, lifts out for, fear, for serious service. So on the starboard side of the console, we have another hatch which gets down below. This is, of course, hidden fasteners. And you can see it's really well done inside the console. The C-zone panel, switch panel, um, three group 31 North Star all glass mat batteries. You see the custom built fiberglass shelf that we built to keep them off the sole. Charger is below that. C-deck flooring and plenty of room below if you wanted a head uh, he opted just to leave this light open for more storage suitcases or whatever for longer trips so before we go up in the tower uh, one of the unique things of the many because it's easy to forget everything on this boat but uh, this customer did not want to see stereo speakers we have done boats without stereos in them even relatively recently uh, which is rare but in this case, um, he had us install wet sound sound bars up underneath the gunnel on both sides. They're Bluetooth, so he operates them off of his phone. Um, super sounding sound bars. We, of course, in order to handle the weight of these speakers and amplifier that's an integral part, we had to uh, laminate aluminum into the deck cap to be able to support this weight. Um, but again, a nice little touch standing in the boat. You would never know that where the music was coming from. So just before we go in the tower, I did want to point out the uh, black tracks that are underside the surfboard hardtop. These are for a three-sided hard enclosure, 80 gauge enclosure. We'll have a vent up at the top. Uh, and the side tracks are for storm panels that he'll be able to secure up out of the way when he doesn't need them. So now to show you the method getting to the tower. Folding footrest on the front of the live well. One step, second step onto a C-deck pa pad. Reach, open the slide, pull it back open, and up into the tower. So now I'm up in the low profile second station tower. Um, one of the beautiful aspects of this is he has all the benefits of a tower, but the ease of trailer ability because of the low profile aspect of the design. Um, this was our first through a steward hard top where you stand on top of the console. Pretty cool, the whole process. Everything worked as planned. Uh, it's nice, he has the third Garmin screen here. Um, the C Star system, so he can use a spot lock type feature. I forget the name for C Star right now, sorry. It's the first one we've done with this feature. He does a lot of bottom fishing. He wants to be able to go up with an autopilot built into the C Star, also locked down on his spot when he finds it to, you know, bottom fish. Um, trim tab controls, six inch Yamaha gauge here, um, same Italian wheel. A handheld, or not a handheld, but a remote VHF. It's just not in place at this time. Turning around now in the tower, you get to the real nice uh, molded backrest, which is super comfortable. Two people actually could get up here if they're kind of friendly. Um, we then move to the digital VHF antennas, eight foot black antennas, uh, 22 foot Gemlux carbon fiber outriggers. Uh, really kind of a custom thing that um, we did with the aluminum fabricator for this uh, Garmin radar mount, mast headlight, couple rod holders just for pitch baits, super functional top, uh, does have a non-skid surface on it if he chose to get out and step on it, walk forward, aft, it is, you know, something he can do. So remember, as wild looking as this boat is awesome finish it's a hardcore fish boat that's the intention goes without saying 40 gallon leaning post live well storage here on each side there are small tackle trays good for hooks swivels things of that nature well being a serious fisherman as I keep repeating um, our this customer won it six foot long insulated fish boxes here. This is the first boat we've done this on and we actually built molds to accommodate him. 
Um, so these are insulated, six foot long, one on either side. Um, and they are connected to a Y valve, which uh, goes to a diaphragm pump so that you can select which box you want to pump out first. Awesome feature. Um, since this customer chose them, every boat ordered since then has ordered these as insulated fish boxes. So last but not least, we did create a fourth, what he will use as a bait box. Um, this is also connected to the diaphragm pump with a Y valve that uh, services the forward large fish box. So this primarily is going to use for his frozen bait for one bottom fishing. One other thing I should point out as we go to the bilge is we also put gas shocks on every hatch. This is the only steward that has that, again, because he wanted that. Our philosophy, <laughs> hard to believe when you see this boat, but it was really intended to be, you know, our general boats are simple. Um, keep them simple, less hardware, less to break. But in this case, this is what he wanted, so this is what we did. Now, when we go into the bilge, this bilge was laid out specifically with the customer. Um, we have our ideas and how we would normally lay it out, but he wanted to tweak it a little bit just to make sure it was the way he wanted it. Um, so, in this bilge, we have the features you'd normally expect, such as the live well pump, a secondary live well pump, pick up for the saltwater wash down, but we also have the Y valves, two Y valves, the diaphragm pumps, the plumbing nice and neat out of the way for both of these outboard fish boxes, uh, saltwater wash down pump, freshwater pump, everything accessible, diaphragm pumps accessible, the two bilge pumps, which are standard, with the high water alarm, which is also standard, 1,500 gallon rules. Um, super clean. This was also, I forgot this, again, there's so much to talk about this boat. He elected to have us uh, fair and paint this bilge to yacht quality finish, and, that, and, and it is. Uh, the anchor locker, exactly the same. It's just what he wanted, so we did it. Awesome access, as on all of our boats. If you haven't seen any of our other videos, one of the other aspects that I often forget to talk about, but it makes it in almost every video, is we don't use hose clamps and, and tubes and water hoses running to empty these gutters. All the gutters drain into a fiberglass channel system that's glassed under the deck from the forward uh, gutters running back, picking up all these gutters. They then go to the cockpit sole drains and go into one manifold, go directly overboard, one on each side. Cleanest, maintenance free, it's a big boat feature. You won't find it on any other boat of this size. Absolutely not. Um, other things, saltwater wash down, freshwater wash down. In addition to that, there's four electric reel outlets on this boat, up under the gunnel, so you can't see them. Uh, Hubble electric reel outlets, deep drop outlets. Uh, we also have another freshwater um, uh, outlet up on the port side, up under the gunnel, so he can get forward. Just goes on and on. Um, shotgun rod holder on the transom. Of course, all this satin black pipe work with Four rod holders here, four here, the one on the transom, and 14 in the gunnels. So it's not going to be shy of its ability to carry rods. So in the interest of not trying to forget anything, um, under hardtop, multicolor flush lights. There's under gunnel, multicolor lights, LED, of course. And then there's underwater, multicolor sequencing lights as well. Um, then, a unique little thing we did, we've done this before, but not in this location. This is a flush out system for the outboards by Reverso, so it's automatic. So you can set it to either flush an engine for 15 minutes or 7 minutes, and it will flush this engine and then shut down and automatically fire up and flush out this engine. Super, super option to have, and it's a quick disconnect right here in the splash well. Um, and then lastly, the engines, 300 Yamahas, 
they propel this boat even with the low profile tower this boat will run right at 60 miles an hour wide open i know there's been comments in the past well your rounded build shape your lack of lifting strikes the boat's going to be slow well we don't think 60 miles an hour is slow it'll cruise at 40 miles an hour effortlessly at 4200 rpms it's just a beautiful combination and for those yes we have sold this boat with a single 300 uh, and it runs perfectly fine as well so it's a unique bottom can really bring a lot of performance to the boat um, color these motors are not yamaha gray these actually match the hull side so the cool thing this whole boat's metallic it's all grip all craft uh, metallic it's a silver uh, slate metallic interior it's a black slate metallic exterior and the engines actually not inside the building here but out in the sunlight and at the right angle the mat the engines match the hull side the underside is black gel coated uh, gloss black gel coated to match the lower units and the engine mounts on the Yamahas so all said and done the most special the most sophisticated complicated build that we've ever done at Stewart Boat Works we love doing it it educated us it improved our performance as boat builders and this boat on the water is going to knock people's socks off it's spectacular if you want something like this or if you want something dead simple nothing like this we'll build it for you give us a call at Stewart Boat Works